You know, it's been here and it's been a part of Austin forever. The cattle baron, Jesse Driscoll, built this beautiful hotel. It was built to try to rival New York and St. Louis, Chicago, some of those cities. We offer you an experience from yesteryear a little bit. No guest room's the same. You could really just enjoy what it was like in the day. There's paintings on the wall, there's history that's jumping out at you everywhere. Louis Armstrong played in our bar back in the 30s. LBJ, obviously, we have a suite named after him. He watched his election results back in the 60s for the presidential candidacy. In 1969, I believe they were going to put a wrecking ball through the Driscoll, which would have been a sad occurrence. And the community of Austin stepped in and said, that's not going to happen to our beautiful hotel. They had a bake sale to try to raise money to save the Driscoll. They also sold stocks at about $10 a piece. We've got a piece down in the bar actually with all the names of the stockholders. They took it upon themselves to make it a landmark and keep this beautiful property the way it is. My first day here at the Driscoll was South by Southwest. Just seeing the people that were coming through the door was totally amazing. We've had poetry readings from Bill Murray out on the steps. Last year, the presidential Twitter library. You know, the Victorian room's been instrumental in some of that. We do a showcase down in the Victorian room, which is a really intimate spot. It's a very popular spot to perform, especially in the bar, because the bar fills up very, very quickly. Such a great melting pot. You've got politicians, you've got tech kids, you've got all kinds of folks in and out. We offer just that unique Texan experience. Other hotels is just a box with a room, and we've got more than that. We've got some character as well.